Well, there's one more sign that Texas is a part of the satanic agenda. Recently, Texas has decided to create its own stock exchange. I realize this news is somewhat old, but I'm finally getting around to talking about it. The TXSC Group has registered for its own Texas Stock Exchange with the SEC. It is expected to be a CEO-friendly exchange, says the CEO of the TXSC Group. How convenient. The group has already got $120 million in funding from multiple investors, including BlackRock. This new Texas Stock Exchange is expected to be headquartered in Dallas. This is not the first regional stock exchange, though. The others in the past were bought out by the New York Stock Exchange. Coincidentally, I believe the Texas Blockchain Council has moved to Dallas also. Senator Ted Cruz calls Texas the center of the Bitcoin universe. BlackRock is also investing in Bitcoin. The Texas Blockchain Council is excited that BlackRock is taking an interest in Bitcoin. The average Texan probably thinks it's a good idea to have BlackRock supporting Bitcoin and a separate stock exchange. They don't see anything ominous about it, even though they are involved with 15-minute cities and other assorted evil. Maybe people are more concerned about their money than their soul. They love that BlackRock is supporting Texas financial interests. I grew up in Texas. I like being here. However, that doesn't blind me to what is happening here in my home state. Elon Musk is setting up shop here. Jeff Bezos is here with his Blue Origins. Matthew McConaughey has returned. There is a replica of the Tower of Babel in Dallas. There is an international highway system running from Mexico through Texas and on into Canada. These three countries are a part of one of the regions of the B-System. Texas is basically becoming Satan Central. Oh, and don't forget NASA has a location in Houston. Many years ago that would have seemed cool. But as knowledge increases, some have realized the deceptive nature of NASA. Now prideful Texans will like the idea of its own stock exchange. Why? Texas could be its own country, right? It has everything. I remember when Rick Perry was in office and talked about secession. Texans would have been happy to do so, citing their discontent with Obama at the time. Of course, it was all stage show. At the time, I was still in the right-left paradigm. I liked the idea of seceding. But like Obama, Rick Perry is a Luciferian also. He was just acting. It was under him we got the international highway from Mexico to Canada. Alright, back to the stock exchange. Something else came across my mind when I heard this news. You see, these Luciferians plan things out well in advance. Some people have noticed the programming about what's going to happen to New York. On the $100 bill, there's an image of a city being flooded. Some people think it is New York City. You have to fold the bill into a pentagon in order to see the image. The other bill denominations do this also. Also, there is foreshadowing in the movies. In the original Planet of the Apes movie with Charlton Heston, for example. At the end, he comes to the Statue of Liberty buried by sand. Obviously, a cataclysm occurred at some point prior to Heston's arrival. What about the movie The Day After Tomorrow? In it, New York City gets slammed by a massive tidal wave. Their reasoning for the event is climate change. There are a couple of Illuminati cards showing the flood of New York City and a tidal wave hitting some city. I looked into the Illuminati cards some years ago. Well, I'm going through them again now. It's a good reminder of how they tell you before they do it. You should check them out again also. So why bring up the idea of a tidal wave hitting New York City? Well, as I said, these Luciferians plan things out well in advance. 
I'm thinking it's possible they are setting up a new stock exchange in Texas because they know New York City will be hit with a cataclysm. Dallas will become the new New York. Here's another piece of information about the future of Texas. You see, Texas will no longer be conducting state inspections for vehicles. This will start in 2025. I asked the oil change guy if he knew the reason why. He didn't know. Texans seem to be happy about the idea though. However, my thinking is what if this has something to do with the Deagle report? The Deagle report came out in 2017. This report is out of the Rockefeller Foundation. You know, the bankers, the money changers, the people Jesus didn't like. Some people are aware of this report. Anyway, it shows the population of many countries decrease in 2025. The United States and the UK by about two-thirds. So then I think to myself, what if Texas is expecting that there won't be as many drivers in 2025? Or then I think of the surveillance police state. With most vehicles now having computers, Wi-Fi, GPS, and so on inside them, the vehicle information is sent to satellite. Then the state just has to say, your vehicle's past due on an oil change or something. Or maybe the computer picks up a burnout headlight. Then the state just says, you have so many days to fix the problem or we shut off your vehicle from space. Don't you love technology? Anyway, that's all I have for this video. Thanks for watching.